Who wants to hear a story? I've got a good one. Well, let's see. Oh, the mouse and the lion. It's one of the stories of Aesop. Very famous story. Here is one of the oldest and best loved stories of kindness paid and repaid. For we learn that compassion lies within the power of both the mighty and the meek. Kindness is not a feeble virtue. One day a great lion lay asleep in the sunshine, and a little mouse ran across his paw and waked him. The great lion was just going to eat him up when the little mouse cried, Oh, please, please let me go, sir. Someday I may help you. The lion laughed at the thought of the little mouse could be of any use to him. But he was a good-natured not lion, and so he let the mouse free. Not long after that, the lion was caught in a net. He tugged and pulled with all his might, but the ropes were too strong. Then he roared loudly. The little mouse heard him and ran to the spot. Be still, dear lion, and I will set you free. And I will gnaw the ropes. With this his little sharp teeth, the mouse cut the ropes, and the lion came out of the net. You laughed at me once, said the little mouse. You thought I was too little to do you a good turn. But see, now you owe me your life for a poor little mouse. Wow. Good turn deserves another. You never know. You never know who you can help with a little compassion. Well, that was a short one. Let me read another. It's called Little Sunshine. Bestowing compassion is like offering most other gifts. Often, it's the thought that counts. Once there was a little girl named Elsa. She had a very old grandmother with white hair and wrinkles all over her face. Elsa's father had a large house that stood on a hill. Each day the sun peeped in at the south windows. It made everything look bright and beautiful. The grandmother lived on the north side of the house. The sun never came to her room. One day Elsa said to her father, Why doesn't the sun peep into Grandma's room? I know she would love to have him. The sun cannot look into the north window, said her father. Let us then turn the house around, Papa. It's so much large for that, said her father. Will Grandma ever have any sunshine in her room, asked Elsa. Of course not, my child, unless you carry some into her. After that, Elsa tried and tried to think how she could carry the sunshine to her grandmother. When she played in the field, she saw the grass and the flowers nodding their heads. The birds sang sweetly as they flew from tree to tree. Everything seemed to say, we love the sun, we love the bright warm sun. Grandma would love it too, thought the child. I must take her some. When she was in the garden one morning, she felt the sun's warm rays in her golden hair. Then she sat down and saw them in her lap. I'll take them in my dress, she thought, and carry them to Grandma's room. She jumped up and ran into the house. Look, Grandma, look, I have some sunshine for you. She cried and she opened her dress, but there was not a ray to be seen. It peeps out of your eyes, my child, said her grandmother, and it shines in your sunny golden hair. I do not need the sun when I have you with me. Elsa did not understand how the sun could peep out of her eyes, but she was glad to hear her grandmother was happy. Every morning she played in the garden, and she ran to her grandmother's room to carry sunshine in her eyes and in her hair. Oh, the little things we do. The little things we do. Well, that was a good one. We'll see you next time. Be good.